everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I'm going to be showing you all the Japanese Iwako erasers that I have collected. So I made a previous version of this video around two years ago, however, that video was super bad quality and let's just admit, my hair was absolutely horrible. Okay, so before to that I have collected a ton more erasers in fact I think my collection has actually doubled since the last time I made a video so that's why I thought it would be an appropriate time to show you guys an updated version of all the Iwako erasers that I have collected so I feel like I'm rambling on right now and I do want to get into the video very soon however I'm just gonna give you guys a quick intro into what Iwako erasers are and why I collect them so Iwako is a Japanese eraser company and I choose to collect their erasers because I think they are the best quality not only that but they come with intricate detail and they're super cute and colorful as well so I'm just going to show you an ice cream cone sorry if it doesn't focus but you can see all like the little details the colors and the imprints and I just think th this uh, this eraser company does the best job at representing erasers in a cool and funky way hence the name Omoshiro Keshigomu which translates to funny erasers another reason why I like to buy erasers from this company is because they are an authentic brand now Iwako was the first company to create erasers shaped like you know food and animals and cool things like that however different companies and shops such as Kmart and the dollar store have started distributing erasers that look similar to Iwako erasers but are fake now the way you can tell uh, whether Iwako erasers are uh, authentic or not is they'll come in a package looking like this they'll have the Iwako symbol at the top and the made in Japan logo at the bottom not all Iwako razors come in packages like this however you will know that it is Iwako if it has the Iwako brand at the top and if it says it's made in Japan anyway okay I am rambling on so I will get into the video let's get started Radio guys, so let me just give you guys a quick overview of all the erasers that I have in their little plastic boxes and containers. I got these stackable uh, plastic containers from Daiso, which is an 100 yen shop in Japan. And I have separated the erasers according to their subcategories. So this one is sweets, as you can see, Asian foods, pills and convenience store foods, fruits and veggies here, animals here, animals here as well, fruits which I have not opened yet, bubble tea erasers, cutlery and saucepans, and these are just you know little erasers that I have um, on the side so I will show you guys more in detail starting with the animals so basically these are zoo animals safari animals farm animals you name it I'm just gonna give you guys a quick view from the sides I probably don't need to explain all the animals that I have because you can see them pretty well. I've even got unicorns, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Now, moving on to the smaller container of animals here. Now, sorry that they're all flipped over because this box keeps falling over and the animals get flipped over inside. Here, I've got some dogs, uh, some hedgehogs, hedgehogs, sorry, and some hamsters. Now, moving on to the fruits and veggies. Now, I probably don't need to explain all the fruits and veggies here, but I'm going to give you guys a quick flip of the box just to show you all the variety of fruits and veggies that I have. I've got a lot of, uh, I guess, red, orangey colored fruits and veggies. Here I have got a separate uh, basket of veggies. And the cool thing about this is that the basket is even made of a razor itself. And these razors are absolutely tiny and adorable compared to these bigger ones. So let me just compare this uh, bigger razor with the smaller one. This is the regular sized pumpkin and this is the small one. So you can definitely see the size difference. Now moving on to my next set of erasers, which are the sweets. This has probably got to be one of my favorite erasers that I have because they're so colorful and cute and who doesn't love sweets? Here are the donuts and I don't know how to say these. Are they macarons or macarons? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Here we've got some cakes as well, some donuts, pizza, ice cream, more ice cream, pudding, biscuits, cupcakes. Here I have got um, sushi. This one is a small sushi set that I've got. So basically here I've got the big set in the Asian box. And once again, you can see the size difference. I forgot to mention, I have bread in the corner as well. So a croissant, a uh, cream puff, I guess. So this is the Asian box. I have big sushi, the sushi train. 
I have got a ton of Japanese sweets here and here as well. In the middle, I've got uh, Chinese food. So basically, I'll be moving on to the next box. Here I've got some meals, a risol or hamburger set. I've got some steak and a lobster. I've got some more Japanese traditional meals here with tempura and unagi. Bento boxes here, as you can kind of see. Some more plated meals, so that's spaghetti tempura and omelette rice. These are uh, Japanese sweets as well. They're basically ice with like fruit syrup on top of them but they're really delicious and these are often eaten in Japan in festivals. Along with these I have some more Japanese festival foods. Here is like the fast food section. Here I've got convenience store foods like potato fries, drinks. This is I think green tea, milk, some uh, instant noodles, and yeah, that's basically all the food items that I've got in this box. So these are cut fruits, basically self-explanatory. This one I got around, I think, a couple of weeks ago when my mom went to Japan. Uh, now this one is the novelty eraser box, but I have put tape around it, so I'll just open this for you guys so you can see. Okay, so I've had to open this box and tape over the insides because it's easier for you guys to see this way. But here I've got uh, a teddy and I've got some other teddies hiding around in here as well. I've got some Japanese Daruma dolls, an egg with a dinosaur in it, like a Japanese cat, a bunny. Basically, as you can see, they're all pretty random. Now, finally moving on to my Hello Kitty and the cutlery set. So the cutlery set didn't originally come in this box, but I decided to put them here because once again they're different from the other razors. Next is the Hello Kitty razor. I got this one from the uh, Japanese Iwako factory itself. I decided to get the green because green is my favorite color. And this one, although they're not Iwako, they are awesome looking I guess, so that's why I have them. Finally, I wanted to show you guys more razors which are not Iwako. So this is a Meiji milk chocolate. This is a lollipop. This is an ice cream sundae. And this is um, a crayon. Okay guys, so I feel like I've given you guys a pretty good overview of all the erasers that I have and my back is actually starting to hurt a lot because my back has been bent the whole time to show you guys these erasers, but that's an overview of all the erasers that I have. Hey guys, new day, new me. I accidentally deleted the outro for this video, so I sadly have to refilm it. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more like this in the future, then please leave your suggestions down below as I am open to a lot of ideas. I've also linked the Iwako shop website in the description box as well. So if you guys are interested in buying their erasers or browsing through their selection of erasers, feel free to click the link in the description below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the future again. Bye. I'm not a child,